Welcome back here to Fox 8 News in the morning. Okay, today's recipe box sounds delicious. It's all about pomegranates and cheese. Two of my favorite things, I think. We have Megan Sedevy joining us from Fresh Time Farmer's Market this morning. Megan, first of all, thank you so much for being here. But I wish you were in studio so that I could try this. It sounds <laughs> delicious. I know you should smell my kitchen right now. So today we are going to be partnering the, the savory holiday flavors of rosemary and aged cheddar cheese with seasonal and colorful pomegranates. What better way to start the holiday season? So the one thing you want to do is when you go to that grocery store, so when you head to Fresh Time, you want to pick out the perfect pomegranate. So pomegranates should be deep, dark in color. This is going to give you the best taste and they should feel heavy for their size. That means all those great seeds are filled with delicious juice. I've so, always wondered how you pick the best one, so I'm glad you're explaining this because for me it's impossible. The second part that's impossible is trying to get the seeds out of one. <laughs> well, you're in luck. I, I know it is intimidating, but I'm going to show you exactly how to get those seeds out. So you want to take your pomegranate, and the first thing you want to do is you want to cut the cap or the bloom off, which is the top part. So go ahead and discard that. Next, you want to take your pomegranate and you want to lightly cut the sides, not all the way through the pomegranate, just lightly cutting it to create wedges. From here, this is the tricky part, opening the pomegranate. Always open it away from you because the juice will splatter. That way you're not staining your clothes or anything else. So you just nicely open it like this so you get these beautiful wedges and you submerge it in cold water for five minutes. What it's going to do is it's actually going to let all of those seeds fall to the bottom of the water and the pith and the rind is going to float to the top. You can't eat those. The only thing you can eat are those nice seeds. So again, wait five to six minutes and they come out beautifully for you. Oh, well, that's what I was missing here. Okay. <laughs> but can yeah, you buy them on simple. your own for this? I know you can get them at Fresh Time Market, right, too, where they've already been yes. de-seeded yeah. and you can just get the seeds. Exactly. If this sounds like too much work, you can get them pre-cut at fresh time. Um, it saves work and it makes the recipe a lot easier. Good to know. All right. So to make your dip, you're going to take eight ounces of cream cheese. You're going to add two tablespoons of minced fresh rosemary, one teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce, and a half teaspoon of garlic powder. And you're going to go ahead and mix that so it's well mixed. And then after you nicely mix it, you want to add in your four ounces of shredded aged white cheddar cheese. Okay. Oh, yummy. I know it it's smells music so to good. my ears. Be here. <laughs> so I can't you wait to come back in studio well. and do this for us here in studio. <laughs> so you mix it well, then you need to preheat your oven to 350 where you're gonna put it in an oven safe container and bake it for eight to 10 minutes so that it melts and it's warmed all the way through. But the best part is yet to come. Once it's baked, take it out of the oven and you sprinkle fresh walnuts on top and your pomegranate seeds. That's where these bad boys come in. So you go ahead and sprinkle them on top. They're filled with vitamin C. They have antioxidants and fiber and they're just as delicious as they are nutritious. Oh, wow. And then, I mean, this is, I mean, if you really want to be a showstopper, I, I know we are keeping socially distant and we're not really doing big gatherings, but if you right, are right. visiting with close family and you want to bring that showstopper dish to the party, I mean, this <laughs> seems like this would be it for an appetizer. Absolutely. And look at it. It's so beautiful. It looks just like an ornament. It really can be a showstopper, like you said. And Fresh Time Farmer's Market, I mean, it, it, it says it in the name itself. There's so many fresh, great foods there for you to go and pick up. You guys make it so easy, and it's such a fun place to go and visit, too. Oh, thank you so much. I'm a little biased, but I love our store, too. But, yes, we have three locations in the Cleveland area, so you can head to freshtime.com to find your location. Plus, head to Fresh Time for this recipe and many more nutrition tips. I love it. And, again, you're getting a lot of vitamin C with this one, so keep that in mind when you eat those pomegranates. Absolutely. Megan said to be joining us again from Fresh Time Farmer's Market. Megan, thank you so much for joining us, and happy holidays to you. We'll have yes, that link. Yes, happy holidays. Thanks for having me. Oh, you're so welcome. We'll have the link uh, <laughs> for our recipe box on our website for you, too, at fox8.com if you want to check it out there. All right.